We are back with another strategy video for 2024. I am going to talk about all the cards that I am planning to use in this calendar year, uh, which I already have, and maybe if I am planning something new. So stay tuned till the end and don't forget to add your suggestions to the comment section. So first up, I am going to talk about which card I am letting go in 2024. So the first card that I have not going to renew is the American Express Platinum Charge card for obvious reasons, right? Because they don't give you any sort of renewal benefits. That's number one. The card is of not much use to me because other cards like the American Express Platinum Travel Card or the Membership Rewards Card or the Gold Charge Card, they are probably the best because the kind of benefits they have is fantastic, okay? And also, if you uh, know, if you have the American Express Membership Rewards Card, they have a fantastic offer going on right now, okay? Uh, so, if you don't have, then you should probably get it. Use the referral link that I'm sharing here and get it because it's free for you first year and you also get 2,000 points. Not only that, Second year onwards, you use it at a reduced fee of 1500 points, 1500 rupees only. So now, what is the uh, extra benefit that American Express Membership Rewards Card is giving you uh, for the next two months? So for the next two months, uh, if you spend uh, 20,000 rupees on the card, right, in each calendar month, you will get 2000 extra points. So if you know the card already gives you 1000 bonus points on spending 1500 rupees four times a month and another 1000 points on spending 20,000 cumulatively, but now they're giving you another 2,000 uh, points on the total 20,000 spent. So you will get 4,000 points for spending 20,000 rupees. Isn't it amazing? Okay, because if you take a value of 60 paisa per point, you are getting 2,400 rupees worth of value for spending 20,000 rupees, which is almost 12% back, right? So don't, don't forget to use this offer. Okay, moving on. Uh, so I am letting go of the Platinum Charge card, like I said. I am also letting go of the Axis Magnus Credit card. I am not going to renew, renew it. I am continuing to use it right now because, uh, because you know, I did not have to pay renewal fees as last year I had met my 15 lakh rupees threshold. But this year, I am not going to meet any such thresholds on that. So, uh, that card is something which is going to go away in this year. Uh, then, what cards I am going to use this year, right? I'm sure you already know by now, I'm definitely going to use the MX Trifecta. So in the family, we have two American Express Platinum Travel Cards. We have two American Express Membership Rewards Card and we have one Gold Charge Card. Okay, so now uh, the goal is simple that uh, I am going to uh, hit my milestone on the American Express uh, Platinum Travel Card of 4 lakh rupees each. Each card gives you 40,000 bonus points and 10,000 rupees charge voucher. So that's 80,000 bonus points and 20,000 rupees worth of charge vouchers during the year. And Membership Rewards Card, like I said, gives you the, uh, you know, uh, 2,000 bonus points on spending 20,000 rupees each year. So uh, that will be another 24,000 points during the year, right, on two cards. Apart from that, the Gold Charge Card is also a fantastic card because it gives me uh, 1000 bonus points on spending 1000 rupees 6 times a month, okay? So, what kind of expenses I am going to do on all these 3 cards is a question that you may have, right? Uh, so, milestone cards are best used for things wherein you know you don't get points, okay? I know there are ways to get points on uh, fuel purchases, but then that's a long shot, right? So, uh, if you want to save time and don't want to use to, you know, get into too much hassle, best is to use the American Express uh, Platinum Travel Card at a pump which accepts American Express Card. This way you will be able to hit your milestone, uh, you know, go get nearer to your milestone by spending money, uh, by spending on fuel on this card. Then every month you can buy up to 25,000 rupees worth of Amazon Amazon Pay vouchers, you have to go to uh, gifter.com uh, and you know buy the Amazon voucher, Amazon uh, Pay voucher there. Once you buy the Amazon Pay voucher, you get uh, not only get normal points, you also get bonus points on all the three cards, right? So you can buy these bonus, uh, the, buy the vouchers and use the Amazon Pay vouchers for your shopping requirements, for your electricity bill payments, for your mobile bill payments, uh, internet bill payments, broadband bill payments, and you know your property tax payments. So you can do all of that from Amazon Pay. You can also make your insurance a renewal. So all of that is going to go through Amazon Pay for me. Okay, so that's also another way of looking at it. Then the next card that I'm going to use during the year is one of my favorite cards this year, Access Atlas. Okay, it's a fantastic card. Uh, you get uh, two points for every hundred rupees spent. If you're you know new to the card, you get five thousand sign uh, as a sign up uh, bonus, five thousand points when you pay the annual fee. So the points are convertible into uh, two air miles or hotel points depending on where you transfer, and the value can be anywhere between say fifty paisa to one point eight two rupees depending on how you redeem it, right? So it's a good. Uh, it has 
has three milestones also, three lakh, seven lakh rupees, and fifteen lakh rupees. I've done a detailed video on this card, so I'm not spending too much time here. You should take a, take a look at the video. I'm sharing the link here, okay? And then uh, after that, uh, one of the cards, oldest cards that I hold, the HDFC Infinia Credit Card. Uh, another great card, right? Why? Because this also gives you five x reward points up to fifteen thousand points in a calendar month. So you can spend one lakh rupees on this card and earn the five uh, x reward points. You can use it for for a lot of vouchers, right? Again, Amazon Pay is one of the options here. You can use it on Smart Buy to book your flight tickets. You can use it to book your hotel tickets and so on, right? Uh, so maybe I'll do a detailed video on HDFC Infinia. It's been a while since I did the detailed video. So let me plan a video on HDFC Infinia as well. So that is one card that I have been keeping and probably continue to hold until HDFC comes uh, with a better card uh, for you know uh, over and above Infinia. So here on Infinia, what I do is I uh, generally use it for the 5x reward points, right? So I try to any domestic flight bookings that I have to do on which I can't redeem it for points, right? Say when I have to fly on Indigo, I use uh, the Infinia card and I go to Smart Buy and make my bookings. If I'm doing it for someone else also, I do it through that. I buy a lot of vouchers, Zomato vouchers, Shopper Stop vouchers. Recently, we bought shoes from Skechers, so also bought Skechers vouchers, right? So you have to take a look at what vouchers are available and you know, maybe because sometimes vouchers are also available at a discount, so it's a very good deal there, right? So now, let us uh, sum up the uh, cards uh, that I will hold, right? The All the MX Trifecta, American Express Membership Rewards card, American American Express Platinum Travel Card, American Express Gold Charge Card, right? I might also get one Gold Charge Card for me, okay? Because Gold Charge Card not only gives you these bonus points, but it also keeps coming up with some good offers. Uh, you know, for example, recently it had an offer on the... Um, uh, Trofit and Hill. Trofit and Hill, you got 2,500 rupees discount on your haircut, right? So, again, a luxury haircut uh, for almost for free. All you need to pay is around 300 to 400 rupees there, right? So, I might get that card. Uh, then, Axis Atlas is going to be the primary card. Then, uh, HDFC Infinia is going to be one of those cards. Uh, apart from that, I also have uh, two, three Axis, uh, two Axis Vistara cards, the two Axis Vistara Infinite cards. They may or may not be renewed uh, next year. Uh, I have done a detailed video on why I may not renew the Axis Vistara Infinite card, again sharing the link here. And then I also have the IDFC Vistara card, which I may end up renewing, we'll see. You get the Dream Folks card on which you get free spa and also, you know, it is acceptable at some lounges which are, you know, where other cards are not acceptable. So it helps, it helps sometimes to keep that card, right? Apart from that, uh, I don't have, I have the Amazon Pay ICSA, ICSA card, which I don't use at all. I, I have another card from IDFC, again, I don't use at all, right? So these are the cards, I'm just keeping it. We also have one SBI card in the family. I use it only when, you know, say for example, Amazon sale, you get a good discount if you're using that card, right? So I use it at those times, I end up using the uh, SBI credit card. So all in all, this is going to be the strategy for this year. I will definitely evaluate one card, which is going to be the Indus in uh, Vistara credit card to see if it makes sense to get that card. And I'm going to do a video on that soon as well. So stay tuned for that video. If you have any suggestions for me, if you think that I should get any credit card, let me know in the comment section below. And until then, take care of yourself. Thank you.